Hey guys, it's Dave here from Gold Coast Camera Hire, and today I just want to give you a walkthrough of our R5C kit and everything that is included with that. So with every order, you will have a packing slip with all of the details of everything that's included in this kit. Now, if you've booked for a multiple day shoot and you're shooting video, then we'll also include a second FX Line Nano 2 battery, so that should keep you going uh, for multiple days and being able to cycle batteries. We also have an additional add-on uh, available, which is the Mike ND adapter. So if you're using ND lenses and you want to be able to have um, NDs behind the lens, then this is a great choice. That also comes with some uh, clear filters as well. So in the kit by default, we have the camera already mounted into a small rig cage. We have a standard uh, mount adapter for uh, EF to RF lenses, so you can use EF lenses on the body. We have, of course, our neck strap. We have a couple of uh, caps for the EF to RF adapter. One FX line Nano 2 battery. We have five LPE6 batteries, including one in the camera body. We have, of course, a Canon battery charger for LPE6. And we have an anchor uh, USB-C charger. Now you can use this to either run the body uh, off AC power indefinitely, or you can use it to charge um, either the internal batteries as well. Uh, is another way you can charge it as opposed to using the uh, battery charger. And you can also use it to charge the FX Lion batteries via the USB-C port in the top of the V-mount battery. So very handy. Of course, you've got your AC cable there for your charger. I've got a couple of USB-C cables, one short one foot cable, we'll come to this in a second, and one two meter cable for if you need to run it off AC. Now I've got a cable here for our card reader, uh, and it comes with a, a USB-A to USB-C adapter should you need that. And in here we have our Angel Bird card reader. Now one tip with this is that this whole section of the cable needs to go within the recess of the um, card reader. So it has to go all the way in. Oh, sorry, it's hard to just one-handed, like so, in order to function. So that's how it's designed to work. We also have a top handle here, which can bolt directly onto the cage. Uh, it's got some array locating pins on the top, so it's not gonna twist. So that can be oriented in either direction. We have a uh, mounting block here with a Manfrotto base plate on the bottom. Uh, if you don't need the base plate, please let us know. We can uh, take that off for you. And we also have a V-mount battery plate, which supports uh, USB-C up to 60 watts. So you can use this to power the camera. All right, now I'm gonna show you uh, how to set this up on one of our tripods. Okay, to start off, we have our um, rail block. So like I said, it's got a Manfrotto base plate on the bottom, so it works with any uh, standard Manfrotto tripod. If you have your own tripod, uh, of course, we can swap that mount out for you. So we start with that, then we take our camera, which already also has a Manfrotto base plate designed to go directly onto this rig, attach and then lock that down like so. And now what we have is our uh, Neatsy um, adapter. So you can either connect it in this orientation so that you can see the screen, or you can undo these two knobs here to change that to a vertical orientation and then attach it onto the back like so for a nice uh, neat and compact package. So attach that on like so. Then we just take our FX line nano battery, mount that onto the back, grab our short USB-C lead and here we have our USB-C port, so we'll take the um, right angle portion of the cable there, attach it to there, and then using the port lock, and please do use the port locks if some of the um, ports in this uh, camera body are broken. It's a very expensive repair to have to do, particularly on the um, uh, micro HDMI. No cameras should be using micro HDMI these days, but here we are. So on the top port, we have our USB-C port. Insert that. Clamp that one down. And the power button is on the top of the rig and should light up blue. So once that happens, you'll notice that the charging icon has activated on the top of the camera. 
Okay. So now that we've done that, the rig is essentially uh, ready to go in kind of a run and gun style configuration. Again, you can orient this however you want. Um, but this is how we like to pa uh, power the camera for extended shoots.